Hi everyone and welcome uh, to today's video. Today I am reviewing the tool roll from Bond Travel Gear. Now, Bond Travel Gear is an American company. They make a range of EDC travel wear gear, notebook covers, pen cases, uh, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, and today I'm looking at the tool roll. Just here is the tag that comes on it, go beyond and with the website there. Uh, so you can get all the information that you want. So yeah, www.bondtravelgear.com. So the reason I got this is I'm always looking for interesting ways and uh, effective ways of carrying my EDC stationary gear particularly. Uh, and so I got this cover and uh, this, not this uh, tool roll and I actually think it's kind of cool. Uh, so we'll just talk about it a little bit. Um, so first things first is that it is really well sewn. Uh, it's beautifully made um, and has this nice air grade steel uh, clasp on the back and it rolls out and as you can see it's quite large and gives you quite a few options. So it's roughly 20 centimeters by 40 centimeters, um, you know, weighs 5.7 ounces. It's quite, you know, quite a sizable little thing. These two lovely big flaps up on the top and bottom here, beautifully made, beautifully sewn. Um, you can see there the double stitching on all the seams and all of that sort of stuff. It's really great. It's made of a sturdy sort of nylon material uh, and really I think this is quite a handy little object. So as you can see there are 10 slots of different sizes. You've got three medium, two large and then four smaller slots. These covers and then if you open up here you've got three pouches here on the top, uh, good for notebooks, things like that, and then a zippered pouch here on the side. Um, good sturdy zip, um, you know, you're never gonna have any problem with that zip either. Um, the clasp is on, so this strap, as I said, is air grade seal and it locks into a range of different options on the back here that you can uh, lock it into. Uh, and the strap, of course, is adjustable. So there's a lot of options for a uh, tool roll like this. Um, it comes in two colours. There's a sort of a tanny, sort of fawny coloured one as well. I can't remember the exact name of it off the top of my head. Um, this material is slightly water resistant, uh, and it has a lifetime warranty, really it's a pretty decent uh, option. Sorry, I said 10, there's actually 9 slots, 3, 2 and 4, I don't know where I'm going. These uh, are available through Bond and through uh, a range of sort of different retailers like Amazon, uh, as are all their gear and I think they're fabulous. The price of this one is normally around the 34 American mark, uh, but at the moment uh, as I'm filming it can be got for about 25 American. So pretty decent deal. Now what would this be used for? Well, of course, obviously it's a tool roll, you could use it for just about anything. Um, you know, sort of basic tool options, there'd be, you've got spaces for notebooks, pens, you could use your cords and your cables and all your tech gear. Uh, and obviously what I use it for and what a lot of uh, people who watch my channel would be thinking of using this for is for fountain pens uh, and stationery and all the assort assorted stuff that sort of goes with that. So what I thought I'd do today um, is I've shown you the item, I've shown you, you know, the, the specifications, what it can hold, what it's got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up, maybe not fill it up, but I would fill it with the sort of carry that I would take. We'll talk about a few things and I'll give you some pros and cons. So I'm going to time lapse this because, uh, we'll speed it up because no one wants to see me putting pens in a pencil case. So here we go. Okay, so what I've done here is I've done basically what a sort of carry to what I would do except for the fact that I don't carry a knife like this. I just wanted to show a tool uh, option in there as well. Um, okay, so what I've got is I've got everything from a very large fountain pen, which is the uh, Opus 88 Caloro there, sort of a couple of medium sized pens, the Twisby 580 and the Fine Writing Instruments Golden Armour, then a slightly smaller pen, the Lamy 2000, and then things like the Apple Pencil, a regular pencil, and then a Retro 2000. I've got a little ruler there, the knife, I've got a small Clairefontaine notepad, and then Pebble Stationery Co. Notebook, which is um, sort of pocket notebook size, which field note size, if you will, which fits perfectly in there. And then just for the sake of the exercise, I've chucked a couple of things, an audio jack, a USB uh, 
stick and a and razor sh pencil sharpener in the zipper. So this is sort of a basic sort of carry that you might see me with on any sort of any day. Uh, and then if we roll this up, and then we take the clasp here and put it into the one that's going to fit in, which is the second slot on this occasion. And there you have it. So it does roll up with a fair amount of stuff in it. Now, there are still slots in this a, a notebook slot and the zipper that could still be filled more. You could adjust that strap and put it onto the slot. You can fit more in there. But this is a fairly decent sort of carry for what I would use it for. So let's talk about a few things. Firstly, this clasp. It's really solid when it's on, but these little slots, they're pretty tight. And so, you know, like getting it in there, can, when things are in there, you've actually really got to lift up the strap, the slot to get the, the clip in there. Um, it sits pretty tight to the nylon. Um, strap is fine, it's good. Um, you can see here part of the problem. Now everything's secure, nothing's gonna go anywhere. Um, but, and I'll, I'll tell you why it's extra secure in just a second. Um, but, I'm just gonna bring a little bit more light into the situation just for a second. Um, but you can see there that this is uh, open, which means that your stuff's gonna be exposed from there. Uh, so if we just open this up, you can see that with anything sort of slightly big in there, it does tend to sort of bubble and buckle. Um, you know, if you're carrying this with some, maybe just the four pens and a couple of notebooks, you might be okay, but there are slots for everything. And if you're putting things that are sort of more uh, fragile or more expensive in there, you might want to think about putting them sort of closer to the middle where they get completely covered up. And you wouldn't want to put anything bulky uh, in this because it would just balloon out. So let's talk about a couple of... Uh, pros and a couple of cons. So firstly, we'll do the cons first, get them out of the way. Um, there's no real cons, like nothing is a deal breaker. I would certainly use this and I have used this quite a lot over the last few months. Um, as I said, the clasp, getting it into that slot can be a bit tricky. Um, you know, it's got quite a hook there and it's quite, it's quite wide, like it's not, it's not a sort of a thin metal, but it is quite light, so it's not adding weight. Um, Another issue is, and this is both a pro and a con, is that the inside these slots, you won't be able to see it, um, is a silicon liner. Um, you might just be able to see it there, a little silicon liner. What that does is it holds everything really nice and secure. Like that stuff's not going anywhere and that pen's not going anywhere. So even though it's open on the side when it's uh, buckled up, that pen isn't gonna go anywhere. Um, but it does make, mean getting things in and out just is a little bit sort of of a challenge. And with pens like this Lamy 2000 that uh, is just a snap cap, you sometimes feel like you're going to, well, there you go, um, case in point, uh, you're going to take the cap off the pen. Uh, so it's quite grippy, which is great for small items like this grey lead pencil and the Retro 51 or the Apple pencil. The Apple pencil is not going anywhere. Uh, but, you know, for bigger items or sort of in the, if they're in a, tighter grip, then you are gonna run the risk of things like that. Um, another issue with these, oh, firstly, also it gets a bit bulky, as I said, when you load too much in it. But another issue is distribution. It's hard to get these in Australia and countries where Amazon isn't necessarily a primary seller. Um, so you might wanna look around and see what the best option is if there are um, companies that will ship to you, uh, where you can um, buy, like I know Australia Post has a system where you can buy an item from a country and it gets imported to them and then sent to you via them. These sort of, you know, postal services can sometimes offer those, so you might want to look into that, but they do add a huge amount of price. Now, I know Bondi are working on this and uh, with companies like Amazon, so we'll see how that goes. Now, pros, three, three big ones. Firstly, it is super sturdy and rugged. Like, I don't fear my, when my items are in here, I don't fear for them. They are protected, they're looked after, they are sturdy. I love that. Secondly, it holds quite a lot. Like, you can put quite a lot in here. It does get bulky, but, you know, that's quite a, that's quite a spread of things. And, you know, you could easily fit two pencils down in there and, you know, it'd be fine. Uh, and more in this case, and there's another slot there. So, if you're traveling, like, if you're backpacking and things like that, and you want to carry your passport and pens and all of those sorts of things, you could easily do it in a case like this. The other, the other pro is that as it gets bulky, this clip is adjustable. So it can be put into other slots on here. It can be made bigger uh, by just sort of releasing um, it there. So you've got you know a lot more range 
of, uh, of, of filling available to you. Um, so it's a look, it's a really well made, really well constructed, really well thought out item. It's a good size, it carries it up, it's, as I said, it's beautifully made. So while there are cons, I think the pros certainly outweigh them. So if you can get your hands on something like this, if it's something you're interested in, uh, there are many, many pen cases and pen rolls and all of those sorts of things on the market. Um, but this is an interesting one and it's a company that makes interesting stuff and if you get a few of their items, you can save on postage and things like that like I did. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, or you can drop me a message uh, here on YouTube or on any of my videos or drop me an email which is also listed down below. Uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, that's how I came across the Bond Travel Gear. Someone suggested I look at them, let me know. Uh, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your writing and all the associated accessories. And I'll talk to you later.